Okay, great. And also, I'm going to, I've been having a lot of, um, I'm going to lock the meeting because <laughs> I've been having a lot of technical things going on since we're all online, you know, <laughs> and so, because I've, I've been using this program for a number of years, but all of a sudden, just now like everybody is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's been kind of tough, but, um, mm. but we're continuing to keep on going here. Mm. So we're going to talk with Rufus and um, he just walked in. Uh, that happens all the time. <laughs> I've got your notes right here, too. I'm just going to open them up again, too, because I know that, um, you know, the main thing is you're wanting to make sure he's healthy, feeling good, and, um, you mm -hmm. know, concerned about his health. And, and so we're going to check in on the food and, you know, the digestion as well, and also his hind legs. But we'll just ask him also... Um, in general, you know, how he's doing, if there's anything else that he needs or any requests, anything he would love for you to know, things like that. Right. Yep. And, um, yep. Okay, good, good. I think let me just. We just changed his diet too this past week. Uh huh. Okay. Let me yeah. ask uh, how he likes it. He says he likes it. He likes it? Yeah. He, likes it? Huh. Let he me just seems see. to like it. Yeah, let me see how he's digesting it. He thinks it's better. He's digesting it better than the food before. Mm -hmm. And he likes the, the taste better. Mm. Yeah, he said he actually loves it. Um, let me just see if there's anything he needs now for the digestion, you know, um, besides the change of food. Um, he said he could use some enzymes he said he's not digesting as well as he did in the past, and that's a part of his problem. Um, he says he's felt like he's kind of backed up. He's like been feeling a bit bloated, had some little bit of gas, um, just kind of like uh, abdomen being a little distended, you know. Um, and just like he said, he's felt like his digestion hasn't been as effective. It's been like kind of sluggish and sort of just not as active and you know working as well so but he feels like so the food's uh, making a difference um let me just ask him if there are any problems with the food and then also what does he mean by enzymes you know what would be helpful yeah oh uh, he said he thinks this food's good you know so um yeah. yeah he's not so he's not asking for any changes in the food um He's mentioning, uh, there's a there's a vet that I kind of follow. Um, I follow a number of them, but there's one, her name's uh, Karen Becker. So oh. she's Dr. Karen Becker, and she has tons of videos and stuff online, and she has a few products as well. And there's one for the digestion in it. So it's like mm -hmm. enzymes and stuff, and it's a powder. It comes in a tub, and you can just sprinkle a little on top of his food. He says he thinks that would help a lot. Okay, good. Yeah, and I'll, um, what I'll do, well, if you look up Dr. Becker and look I'll up, look up you know, if I don't find her, I'll find her. you. Yeah. yeah, sounds good. And let me just ask him, how's he feeling otherwise and just other things and the how's the hind end? How's he doing with that? And, and then I'll check with you and see what other questions you have mm -hmm. as well. Okay, just one second. He's telling me that he has, sometimes he has soreness in the hips, especially the left hip, mm -hmm. and that he has um, on the right side, um, I forgot the joint, like the lowest joint down, I guess it sort of be like an ankle for a dog in the back on the right hand side. That gets a little sore and it's related to how he carries the left hip, you know, that the left, the right, on the right lower joint down by the foot, that that um, gets a little tender and kind of a little tweaked. And so he said, sometimes he just feels a little wonky in the hind end as far as how he's walking. And then he also feels a little weakness, kind of a little bit in the, especially the left hip, um, that mm -hmm. left side. Um, but let me just ask him, what is causing that? And what, what would be helpful, you know, for him? Okay, just one second. Okay, so I was asking him, 
um, he said he feels like he's out of alignment in his spine sometimes. And that then he, he kind of, it kind of puts him out as far as how his hind end is doing. And so, um, and then, then the, the, what's happening on the left side causes what's happening on the right side. Yeah. And can, so, yeah. Can you ask him if we could bring, if the chiropractor that we took him to, that he really didn't, he doesn't like certain people. Yeah. But my chiropractor works on dogs. He's a applied kinesiology guy. And uh -huh. we try to work on him. Ask him if that was helpful and if he can get over being so angry at Dr. Boss. Uh, yeah, it's funny because he was asking me for a chiropractor. When I asked him, do you want that one? He said, no, he doesn't <laughs> like that one, you know? And part of it is he would love to find a woman chiropractor. Um, that's, he, that would be his top choice. Um, but there's something about that chiropractor he doesn't like. Let me just ask him, what is it? Because he's picky about certain people. Anybody who works on the dogs, you know, you would think they were great, but um, he thinks that, <laughs> this is kind of funny, he doesn't <laughs> like his bedside manner. Like he said, he feels kind of like the guy's a little bit too bold and kind of a little pushy for him. Mm -hmm. uh, like he's like it, right in his face, you know, real quick, you know. Got it. And, and uh, so Rufus is kind of like, well, excuse me, you know, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> so, um, so, so a woman chiropractor back there with a better bedside manner. Yeah. He Does thinks, he have any suggestions? I don't know well, where to find these people. He, wants you, he thinks you're going to find one and I will. Yeah. too bad you're not closer because we've got a good one up here that is a woman. Um, but I, I think you're going to find one. And, I will. Um, yeah. Yep. So he said a woman is a tip off, you know, if you find one that's a woman, but if you, you don't, you find another man, he'll be willing to try like a man that's more of like a woman, a little more womanly or something like that. Yes, kind of I woman. get it. I get it. More gentle the approach. And part of it is that chiropractor really means well, has a good heart and everything, but is kind of, is and is very confident in his way of being and is working and everything. And he just jumps right in to make a difference. But Rufus is like, excuse me, we need to start a relationship first. Right. <laughs> You're touching my body, but yes, I got it. <laughs> got it completely, Rufus. Got it. Yeah. yeah. And is there anything that's um, uh, arthritis related? Because I thought all this limping was arthritis, but it sounds like it's actually structural. Mm -hmm. um, like I was going to get him joint com joint stuff, but yeah, um, he doesn't think that that'll really make much of a difference. The joint stuff, and he thinks more like the digestive enzymes for the gut will be good. And then let me just see if there's anything else. Now he said he doesn't think it's really arthritis. That's not the way he terms it. Um, he thinks it is structural. Um, so he has certain ways of moving that you can do like therapy that you can do with him as far as how you're moving, helping him to move and things like that. Um, but let me see, there's something else too. Okay, he wants me to share about the moving first. All right, so he wants you to think about when you're he likes the idea of being walked um, on a leash and he wants you to walk him and take him out like in straight lines. He wants you to think about that you're doing physical therapy with him um, yeah. because there's something about it. He thinks it'll be good for you to have kind of more structure with him and also some activity that you two are doing together and for you also having purpose in his healing, you know, as far as that you're actually physically walking him in certain ways that you know will help to build up his strength because he says he has a the situation of being out of alignment and um he's not always out of alignment but it's a little bit chronic right now mm. and he thinks that this can get resolved um and that he's you're gonna find just the right person for him to do that um but you're a part of that package is to be walking him and just do it. I can see you going up and down um, an area, like or going straight down the road just a little bit and then coming back and um, not too much weaving around in circles and everything right now. Just, I mean, you have to turn because you've got to turn, you know, but right. I think as going up and down or just going for a walk out and a walk back. And, and even if you're doing that already, he says something about you thinking about it this way is going to make a difference for him. Okay, good. And it, it's kind of like, you're putting a name to what you're doing. Um, yeah. That, like we are, this is part of your physical therapy. We're building your strength and we're supporting your alignment. 
and everything mm. like that. Because even that kind of walking, he says, is going to help him, even if he's out of alignment, that can help to pull him back in alignment, just going straight. Good. Like that, yeah. He's also mentioning, I don't know if this is a possibility, um, but swimming. Oh, um, he loves swimming. Yeah, like he thinks, like the swimming is a good therapy, and so naming it, is also good. Even though with the swimming, he may be going around in circles, it doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. But having that be part of his therapy. Yeah. So that it's not just for fun because he does love it, but he does love it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So he's got to do his therapy, get in the, get in the pool. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Um, also, let me just ask him if there's anything else that would be helpful as far as the structural, you know, is anything, does he need anything for pain? How much, Discomfort is he in? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just check. It's funny because he's a character. He's, he's saying that he feels he before the new food he was feeling gassy, and you know it's digestion, and that was causing him more discomfort than what he's having in the body as far as like the the hind end, you know. Interesting. He it, yeah, he said it's more kind of like a nuisance, um, just feeling a little bit creaky, you know, like. And, and he starts walking and he feels better, you know, as he starts moving. Uh -huh. But it's kind of like getting started. Sometimes he feels a little off balance. And, and then if he overdoes, then he may feel it. But he says swimming is good because then he doesn't have to worry too much about overdoing it. You know? okay. um, uh, let's see. Anything else? And let me see. What other questions do you have? Anything else you can think of? Not about him. I mean, not, like I said, we have two other pets I was going to check in with if we had time. But for him, it was mainly the health. And if anything else he wants to let me know. Uh -huh. Yep, let me just see if there's anything else he wants to say. Well, he says he loves his life. He's right where he wants to be. And um, he wants to work with you on some projects. So, like some creative projects. Like, um, he's saying um, some books. Like writing some books. Oh. and making some videos and um just let me just see if there's anything else hmm. he likes the idea of you like creating some films where you like you write a script like write a story that you'd like to share and uh -huh. then then you bring in like photos or clips to go with it and it could be like from your experience in your life and then you make these films hmm. I just saw one of my students had made a film and it was, she made the film about walking this dog and she uh -huh. then gave it as a gift, the film to the people whose dog, you know, that she was walking and the, the dog um, gave her a poem. He asked her to keep, share this poem with her, with his oh, people. Yeah. So, but, but the main thing I'm thinking about is that example was, it was a beautiful film that had really nice music and, mm -hmm. a, and beautiful scenery. And then it has a message, you know. So he thinks this could be fun for you, different messages that you want to share. And they could be different links based on the message. Interesting. Yeah. And then incorporate him. Right? Yeah, you know, the main thing is he, the incorporation is that he's, he says he's your muse. Like he's, oh. he's like with you and he's, in, he's like pushing you on and he's like, he's inspired by you and he, wants to it's like he's your biggest fan and he wants to put you out to the world oh so, that's so yeah. sweet so he's like right there you know with you he's like the kind of a grounded very um just solid right there believing in you 24 7 and you know just like whatever you want to create he's almost like a platform for you to create from mm -hmm. and he's like just really um loves being your partner yeah oh that's so sweet yeah, so it's not necessarily about him, but yeah. you can yeah. be inspired by his his um, passion for you know That's great. for you and you having your voice, you know. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's so sweet. What yeah. a gift. Very happy boy. Amazing guy. Thank you, Rufus. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. And you definitely held the floor. You're like, excuse me, this is my time for other guys, you're not going to talk today. Yeah. <laughs> That's so great. Yeah. <laughs> Can you think of anything else? 
Well, he's like, you know, he's talking to me. Um, <laughs> um, about Rufus or anything else? Or Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know what? We have more time. <laughs> so he's kind of like, um, uh, he's like, wants to hug all the time from the other animals. So. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Well, I just didn't know if there's anything that the tortoise or the cat needed. Yeah. Let me just. just let me just check with them real quick. Do you mind, Rufus, if I do that? Hmm, it's like, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> They're a part of the team. Um, say the name of the tortoise. We don't have a name for the tortoise. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, the tortoise wants a name. <laughs> and we can't find a name. Does she have a name that we, she wants to be called? Okay, let me see. <laughs> it's funny, she's given me some references that she thinks will be fun for you all to explore. Um, definitely a female name, um, but she's saying she's like a fiery goddess, <laughs> you know, very different than what we would expect, you know, from a tortoise. Um, but she said she has a lot of flair and a lot of energy and fire, and um, she's real sassy in a way, too. And Yes, she is sassy. Oh my gosh, yeah. here comes the cat. Bar just right in. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, I want to make sure I can say something. Um, it's okay. So she wants you to come up, just play around with some amongst your family, you know, do a little brainstorming for fun and just write a list of some different ideas. And she says she's going to, she'll be helping you with this. And so, gonna, so the tortoise is going to be helping me with, with choosing the name for her. Oh, okay, good. It's like she wants to be named, and she's like, "Give me a name, and I'm gonna help you." We just settle on a darn name, and then it's just been tortoise. So yep, yep. So she says this is gonna change very soon. Okay, so, good. I'll, I'll be listening here, and I'll let you know if I hear differently on it too. But share, do share with me. Oh, no, I totally will. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Now with your kitty, um, remind me your kitty's name. Casanova. Casanova, how could I forget? <laughs> Casanova. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. <laughs> He's a very big orange tabby. Very big. He's and well loud. He loves his name. <laughs> it's perfect for him. <laughs> it is. It came yeah. to us, really. It came to us as, I was like, oh my God, that's it. Casanova. Yeah. He's larger than life and loving and. Yeah. He said he gave it to you. That's his name. He was telling you, hey, this is my name. And that's what's going to happen with the tortoise. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, yeah. we'll, we'll listen Actually, for it. Actually, Casanova, he said he will help with this name, too, uh, with ah. the tortoise. Now, let's see. Do you have a question for him? Any questions for him? I have a request. If he could just calm down at 3 a.m. when he's coming in from the outside and stop announcing his presence so I can sleep <laughs> good night. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing. He thinks it's funny. <laughs> funny. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. He thinks of himself as being like the king of the house, you know? Exactly. Yep. yep. And so he likes to let everybody know that he's in the house, you know? <laughs> and I'm back. So if you're. Could he wait till <laughs> after 5 a.m., maybe? <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing. He thinks it's funny. Um, he's not going to make a commitment on that but he will give it a little consideration, you know. Thank you. But no, no commitment of any sort. <laughs> I, I got it. I, he's his own, yes. Yeah. Having had the conversation, it may change, but no guarantees on that. No, one. I completely get that about him. Yes, he's his own yeah. or his own being, what they he all are. He loves the way that you all know who he is, and he really appreciates it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we know who he is. You bow down to him. <laughs> <laughs> when he's on his throne <laughs> and all the time <laughs> which is all the time pretty much yes yes <laughs> he's a he's a he's a big personality oh yes <laughs> does he need anything from me or us like food or i mean food every i mean i don't know if there's anything he wants to let me know yeah. he says that um he's he whenever he needs something he gets it you know you know that you basically are all listening and you bring it forth so he has no he doesn't need me to tell you at this time because you you're you're fulfilling his needs okay good just naturally as it should be <laughs> of course because <laughs> he's the king <laughs> that's right yeah 
That's right. Wow, we oh. got an awesome family there. <laughs> we do. So many interesting personalities. <laughs> oh, yeah. Real sassy tortoise. and. I'm surprised. At the yeah. I actually got the tortoise sassiness a little bit. I, I started to keep, I mean, when they're little, you don't know what's happening. But she's been like roaming around and trying to get into my office. Like she almost knocks on the door. And I'm like, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. She wants to be a part of your work. <laughs> you know, as well. So mm -hmm. you can, even if she's not in the office, you can ask her, you can say, okay, it's time to, for us to go to work and she'll be bringing her unique um, talents and insight. Into oh, good. It's like she's already doing it, but she would love to be acknowledged. And that's a part of it is getting her name. And she said, it's not to say, she's not upset that she hasn't had one so far. It's just time. Now it's time and it'll be yeah. perfect, perfect timing because she's ready to step into her world with a new. Oh, come on, girl. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. I, uh -huh. I, I, I don't like giving beings names unless they are telling me what their name is. That's how okay. I name my daughters. It's like, uh -huh. I would have never picked that name. You told me before you were born. This is what that's you want to right. name. And that's what's going to happen with this, too. She's Perfect. Yeah. I will be open. I've been, we've been trying, but nothing sticks. I'm like, oh. Yeah. yeah. It'll come easier now. OK. Good. Oh, yeah. oh, cool. Awesome. Well, so good to be with you. And oh my gosh. So delightful being with you too. I mean, like, oh, I'm so grateful I did this, really, because we were about to go down the other direction of the um, glucosamine and everything, because we tried yeah. the chiropractor and I was like, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> so yeah. that, that really does help. So we were definitely going down a different direction if I hadn't talked to you. So I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, just keep looking, and if, if something happens, you don't, I think you're going to find one, but if you don't, let me know, because I'll ask him for some other alternative, you know, or something. Yeah. But he said, he really thinks you'll find one. I will. And, yeah. It might even be somebody who doesn't even term themselves as chiropractor, but they're a chiropractor, and they've got some special skills of, like, there's, we had a guy up here that, um, he's, he did osteopathy. Oh, uh, okay. And that so, um, you know, so he didn't term himself as a chiropractor, and appropriately so but the osteopathy it was amazing because he would he was so gentle and he would just do these manipulations like you you wouldn't even notice he was doing anything like he would just have his hands on the animal like he was petting them or just touching them and all of a sudden you could see a shift you know and mm -hmm. so he was really great so it might be something like that so kind of be open to the term the terminology great i will start looking and put it out there i'll find somebody yeah awesome Great. Right. Well, thank uh, you, thank you so much for your gift. It is such a blessing. I've told so many people about you, by the way. I'm uh, like, yeah, check out this woman, the amazing uh -huh. messages that she's giving to people. So thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Andrea. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Yep. Great to meet you. Mm -hmm. okay, so and we'll catch up after a while. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, I'll let you know what happens. I'll give you an update on the Rufus and the... <laughs> And the name for sure when we get the name for the tortoise. Yeah, yep. wonderful. And Thanks. will you send me a recording of this? Is yes. that right? Yep, I'm going to send you the link. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, I love it. I'd love to share it with my family. Yeah, definitely. Feel free mm -hmm. to share. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Andrea. All right. Thank Later. you. Bye bye.